Admiral's log. We've done it. We've sunk one of their battlecruisers. The battlecruiser sisters Regina and Ferrari work together to see to the destruction of the battlecruiser Dromedar. We've shown that even with a small fleet we can eliminate one of their mightiest ships. All that remains now is showing that we can even eliminate a battleship. In a rare display of aggression, the Austro-Hungarian heavy cruiser Mödling engaged one of our convoys. Fortunately, heavy cruiser Maria Teresa and destroyer Chinotto were there to step in and protect it. Sadly, the Chinotto had to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to save the convoy. I've had to stop giving medals to the crew of the Coty for destroying convoys. The Coty has taken down more enemy transports than we have been able to keep track of. While these light cruisers were originally designed to hunt down destroyers and light cruisers, they've proven themselves extremely effective at hunting down convoys. The Coty is by far the most effective ship of the class and I've commended her time and time again. In a rare break of protocol, I've allowed the Coty to stop swapping her name tags to confuse the enemy. Whenever the Coty is now identified as one of the attacking ships, the Austro-Hungarians immediately lose a bit of their fighting spirit, as they know exactly what is coming. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts Italy. We are in 1941 and it seems that the war is going to be ending soon, at least the war with the Austro-Hungarians. How quickly that is going to happen depends on whether or not I will accept their peace treaty. Uh, for now though, I first want to take on one of their battlecruisers, the Kronprinz Erzherzog Rudolf. It is one of those battlecruisers with 15-inch guns. Now, the Ferrari F1, which has already proven itself very potent, um, is going to be assisted by the Coty, but the Coty with their 6-inch guns essentially cannot do anything. So it's just going to be one battlecruiser against another. Mine at 37,000 tons, yet with 18-inch guns, against their heavier, at least displacement-wise, battlecruiser with more guns, sorry, with fewer guns. Um, and they got a trained crew, I have a regular crew... Yeah, they got more displacements, standard bulkheads. This should be interesting. It's a sad thing that the Coty doesn't have torpedo tubes, because that would have been very useful here. All right, Coty, I'm sorry, but your services are not required here. Let's go and find the enemy. And, well, we still have the semi armor piercing. I never upgraded those. We found those to be somewhat effective against their battlecruisers. Not necessarily perfect, but uh, ought to be sufficient. Kilometers, 30. That means they are in HE range. And we're going to slow down to full. And turn starboard a bit. We're going to let the Ferrari do what it does best. Blow shit up. First salvo out, 2.5% chance to hit. What's their firing range? 24. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to stay outside of range of that, but that means I'm going to have to sort of angle away from the target and make sure that they cannot get too close. I mean, I am far faster with my battlecruiser, but my accuracy at this range is not great. That's kind of the problem. I'm slowing the ship down, trying to get more accuracy, but we're just oh, we're trying to skirt that two and a half in or two and a half percent and I would love to do better than that where are shells landing more or less in the same zip code as the target all right um, ah we got return fire coming in okay let's go for AP now because uh, my AP shells are now in range and aside from that the AP shells have a far lower muzzle velocity which means they're going to come down at a bit of a greater arc. Hopefully plunging right through the deck armor of this, I believe, paper-thin Austro-Hungarian battlecruiser. They seem to have favored guns. Lots and lots and lots of guns. Over their ability to protect the ship. Ricochet. Right. The one time we get a hit, it's a ricochet. Four and a half percent chance to hit. Still got all turrets. Just that the accuracy isn't quite there yet. 24 clicks out. Oh, get on. 
They hit me. Aft belt, full pen, 210 damage. See, I could outshoot them from range, but I think with my accuracy, I'm going to run out of shells. Um, nevertheless, this is not something I want to incur for very long, because they have more battle cruisers than I do. By a factor of, I think, three? Two to three? They got a lot more battle cruisers than I do, anyway. What's your chance to pen me? What the fuck? Another aft deck pen? What sort of accuracy are you guys getting? I will not lose the Ferrari. What the hell? Did they just get lucky or something? Or is something else happening here? I know they have a better crew. I'm trying to get the Ferrari to turn to port, but her damaged rudder is not responding very quickly. Come on. There you go. Flooding. Perfect. Identification 87. I'm trying to get into a favorable firing position so they only have their bow turrets to shoot with me with. 91, 92. Rudder's not coming back online. Crap. Where are these shells even going? Come on. Uh-oh. That looks like it's gonna hit. <sighs> Close. Alright. Please tell me we have ID. Yes, we do. 1.2% chance to hit? Yet you've already hit me? Huh. 1.4. Is my current accuracy. Or at least, that's been my accuracy so far. Partial pen. Not great, not terrible. HE. Theirs is 1.2, and I should be approaching the edge of their effective range. Yeah, it's over there. Oh boy. <clears throat> this is probably going to take a while. As I only have one turret available. I'm trying to motor it out of here at 36.8 knots. Their speed is 29.2, so I can very much dictate the encounter. Three, three, twenty-three, four, twenty-three, five. Their accuracy has dropped to one and a half. Mine is still better, but this is going to be a long, long, long fight. I need to overhaul these battleships to have better AP shells. Oof! Because against this battle cruiser, I'm there. How is this? How am I ricocheting off of this ship? It has no four-deck armor, it has no F-deck armor, it has no F-belt armor, it barely has any four-belt armor, and it has no superstructure. How am I ricocheting off of this ship? That is ridiculous. Range. Yeah, they are at the end of their range. It's 24-9 for their AP shells. Beautiful. And the battle. Why not? Why not? I can get the Ferrari fixed, and I can get my ship adjusted to have better AP shells. It's considered a defeat, but their victory points are negligible. Okay, not a great first battle, but I can still overcome this. Oh! Heavy cruiser Etna, light cruiser Agordat, and destroyer uh, Generale Carlo Montanari against the Monarch. 70,000 tons of battleship. Green crew... Uh, there's going to be a torp and run. Just a torp and run action. Because everything else is probably not going to work. The Etna is armed with 21.8 kilometer range torpedoes. So we're going to send those. And the battleship is at 28 kilometer range. The destroyer has 13.2 kilometer range torpedoes. They are the new 24 inchers. Very sneaky, but this guy has those five heavy cruisers worth of secondary armament. Yeah. Um, the destroyer is going to have the fairly unenviable task of closing the distance while the light cruiser runs away swiftly and the heavy cruiser is just going to torp the target and run off. 
that's what we're going to do. Because my ships currently are very poorly equipped. Very, very poorly equipped to deal with this threat. The, is that the 11-incher? 13-incher. Sorry, not 11. 13. No. Don't shoot me. Thir 23, 21. I need 21-8. Go. I suppose they're engaging the destroyer. With the AI's luck, they'll probably hit that pretty soon. Situation like this, the Etna is not a good ship to have. I have ordered refits of these heavy cruisers, um, removing these the stern turret in favor of a couple of torpedo launchers. But it's going to take a long time before those launchers are adjusted, or before their ships have been refit. Come on, you're in range. Right, let's get the Carlo moving that way. Damn it. Launch aggressively. Okay, torpedoes away from the Etna. Now need you to not run into the friendly torps. Oh. Ow! Etna just took a, an aft deck pen. 16, 5, 16, 4. Oh dear. Um, I don't want to torp him just yet. I want to wait for my smoke screen to recharge so I can go in under the cover of smoke and then get my torpedoes away and probably just run off right after. Range 17. Identification is almost complete. Please tell me they're not turning. They're not. Good. You're still engaging the heavy cruiser, aren't you? You're engaging in something. I just have no idea where your shells are supposed to land. But I suspect trying to hit the Etna. Rather unsuccessfully, I might add. Uh, my torpedoes are wide enough that you could probably fly the Empire State Building right between them and not get torpedoed. 16-1, smokescreen coming up. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me, thank you. Smokescreen up. Full ahead flank, charge right towards that battleship. Range 13-2, torp it and run off. And don't flood. That would be particularly annoying. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The sheer volume of fire making life extremely difficult on this destroyer. They have less than a percent chance to hit. But they got so many guns. That they can just make up for that poor chance to hit. What? You detected the torps already? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, that means we're gonna have to get closer, because the battleship is now running away. Are you going to mess up? You might. Very well might. You will? No. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. Uh, that was a hit on the bows, causing minor flooding and a loss of 4% of structural integrity. <laughs> Keep in mind, though, these are the lighter torpedoes. They're 21 inch. Uh, they're more standard format, if you will. Uh, my smoke screen on the Montanari is out. Yeah. I would like to run away now. I know I was in torpedo range, but my smoke screen's out. Ow! And I really don't want to get shot at anymore. The Monarch has 2% chance to hit me now. They're supposedly targeting the DD, but their accuracy is as bad as mine. Oh boy. <clears throat> These things are so fucking lethal. Oh dear. Oh, we lost them. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, speed. Reduced to 33 knots. That's not great. Putting it mildly. Heavy cruiser, just leave. If I can get some torpedoes in on that battleship, I'll gladly do it. Smoke. <sighs> Carlo Montanari. Very much at risk. A problem that I now might face is that I cannot detect the target. 
unless I get very close and that I will get shot at a lot up to the point where the ship is no longer survivable. Come on. Fortunately, their green level of crew is not exactly assisting in making their ship more accurate. The ship has radar, but its tower is pretty small, meaning that it is pretty unable to really get a good amount of spotting done, sadly. Hmm. Ah, there you are. Range. 16. Have you just decided to beat a retreat and get out? You have, haven't you? Uh-oh. The 8-inchers have decided that now is a good time to fight. And the Monarchs 8-inch are not going to run out of ammo any year soon. Good lord, this thing is just one floating armory. Now, what sort of uh, stealthy torps are at minus 40? So these torps at minus 65 are going to be detected far later. I'm going to have to cheese this guy into firing so much and not hitting me that they're going to run a little low on ammo. What the fuck? One and a half percent chance to hit. Yeah, right. Oh, no. Oh, no. 15-8. 15-6. 15-4. Fifteen, I need to kill these things somehow. 15-2. The fact that they're heading away is not making life any easier, and I can only do 31 knots. Which is a bit less than I would like against this particular ship. Look at that. We've got 1,800 rounds of ammo for the casemate guns. And another almost 4,000 for their turrets. That's going to hit. Ugh. No, the ship's too badly flooded. I'm leaving. I cannot engage this battleship safely. Definitely not. So, Monarch, you get a free pass today. I value the lives of my crews and the integrity of my ships much more than my ability to kill the Monarch. And that's going to hit. I really, really want them to adjust that accuracy. Well, not accuracy indicator so much, but... Let's say the display of how or when a ship's going to get hit. Because most of the time they just ended up shooting there. And then you see that one shell going right for the carlo. It just makes no sense. Anyway, um, this guy is going to run away. And we're going to have to reacquire. And just go at them with potentially a bigger fleet. And most likely adjusted battle cruisers. Because this is not working. Even though these guys have better torpedo launchers now. They just don't have the range. Those battleships with their 8-inch, well, fortress mounted on top of it, they're just too hard to kill. I cannot safely get into range. Again, um, a sort of minor victory for the Austro-Hungarians. I mean, they've damaged my ships a little, but not that bad. The game considers it a draw. The problem, however, is that their battleship's probably going to take one month to repair. Yeah, one month. My destroyer is going to take two months, and the Etna, one month. All right, give me the designs for the battlecruisers, the Ferraris. I need to get something far more punchy than the semi-armor piercing shells. Refit. Um, super heavy shells. Capitalistic one. Boom. Because at semi... And let's say 20,000 meter range, we can pen 12.4 inches of armor, which should be enough against one of their battle cruisers, but isn't. So 12.4, and now we are looking at 29? Really? That much? 20,000 meters, 12.4. 29. And if I go full capitalistic, it's going to be 30. No, we're going to go with this. We got the capitalistic HEs. 
The ship is slightly overweight due to those shells. Uh, let's give them an increased complement as well. And then reduce the sonar array. Because I don't need a very heavy sonar array anymore, seeing as most of their ships have been destroyed. Well, the torpedo-capable ships, that is. Can I adjust this? No. Um, engine efficiency... Not as good. Just, yeah, this is the best funnel I can get. Okay. Can I up armor the ship? Because we're going to fight long range. No. I can add... Yeah. <laughs> I can add 0.1 inch of armor. Fantastic. Anyway, I got increased complement of shells, meaning that I now can uh, hopefully endure these fights for longer. The question is, how long is it going to take to refit? Oh, crap. They're both going... Yeah, they're both repairing. Oh, joy. All right, next month. It's now the month of May 1941, and once again, the Austro-Hungarians ask us to sign a peace treaty. I'm going to say no one more time, because I want to be able to eliminate one of their ships. One of their... yeah, that one. Um, refight. Rather not. <laughs> not with my current poor condition. Uh, battle. I'm going to try and get away. Away, away, away. I don't want this fight. Not with these ships. Especially considering that my destroyer has already been damaged. I'm not sure exactly when it lost its second turret. But I don't believe that that was anytime soon. Destroy 55 of... Right. 55% of tonnage of the whole enemy fleet consisting of one battleship. So essentially destroy the battleship. 55%. That's amusing, but impossible. Now, the game is still a bit weird about the outcome of the battle, because I didn't fire a single shot, nor did they, but they did give me 87 victory points for running away. I mean, for picking a battle, a better time to fight. That's uh, how you should see this. I did lose one transport, that's fine. What we got here? Oh, dear. Um, I'm engaging 13 transports, but Rudolf is there. Hmm. Let's see if I can outshoot Rudolf a bit while the Coty, doing what she does best, sinks some transports. It means I'm probably going to have to lure the battleship away from the rest of the fleet. And that's going to be pretty tricky. Enemy spotted east. All right, let's go east. Uh, I'm going to take my heavy cruiser with me as well. At least for now. Because I am potentially going to be able to use it. Where is your battleship? All the way over there. 28 clicks. I know that their firing range is 20... No, sorry. Not 24. 26! 24 was their battle sh uh, battle cruiser. Uh, Palinuro. Hard to port. Coty hard to port as well. Oh, sorry, hard to starboard. Yeah. I want... Koti and the Palinuro to try and engage that transport group together. While Regina draws fire. Which is not exactly a role that the battlecruiser is very good at. But she's going to have to make herself the primary target so that the other guys are not going to get engaged by that 8 inch murderous fire. Game is moving to five times speed. That's good enough. Once again, at range, I just can't seem to hit them very well. Despite running at crew speed, despite having a trained crew, they're 18 inch Mark III guns. They're not bad guns. They just don't have the accuracy that I need. What's your range? 24. Okay, that'll be good enough. Where's the rest of your convoy, sir? Because that's what I'm here to shoot. Here. 26 clicks. Let's do the old bait and switch. I bait you... Well, actually, no, sorry, that's not a bait and switch. Um, essentially, just trying to distract the battleship. 
not a bait and switch. That looks like it's going to hit. That one shell on the right, hit. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Seven points of damage. Ugh. Partial pen. Very good. So long as we keep them distracted. And their secondaries, their eight inchers, shoot out to 17 kilometers. Good lord. So that puts you in secondary range yet? No, soon. But the battleship is slightly moving off. Okay. Just skirt the edge of that range. They have now spotted them. Fire AP. I just want to see if that does any better. 23-4. It is still the semi-armor piercing. It's not the good new shells that I have in mind for these battle cruisers. Huh. One of their turrets looks a little worse for wear. Just imagine what sort of morale victory it's going to be for my guys if I'm able to sink their transports right under the nose of their battleship. That is just a massive insult to the Austro-Hungarians. And it shows the utter incompetence of the enemy fleet. Oh, that shell's gonna hit. Yeah, partial pin. Oh well. Just the sheer incompetence of the battleship crew. It should have just stayed right with the formation and shot anything that got close. But it's not doing that. 18 kilometer range. There's your secondaries. And oh look! Somebody left the sheep unattended. Regina doing what she does best. Engaging convoys. Although this time around she's not engaging the convoy. <clears throat> Much like her previous run-ins with the heavy cruiser. What the? No, 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 no. Uh, with her... her Uh-oh. Engagement with the heavy cruisers. Hold on there, Rudy. Where are you going? No, dude. No. Regina, get in here. Now. We have to start pushing that battleship before it actually understands what the threat is. Because she just switched fire. We need to very quickly eliminate these ships. And then run. Because this is getting awfully close to that 8-inch firepower. And... More importantly, my heavy cruiser is getting blown to bits. 3.5% accuracy. Seasoned crew. That's just shy of veteran. No, 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 no. Ah, good lord. This thing is getting demolished. Sense of fire. We are definitely making a pretty good impression on their transports. Twenty-one. Please start actually doing damage, Regina. It's two more transports down, but the Palinuro is down to half strength. I'm gonna pull her away. The Coty is arguably more difficult to hit, and especially with her smoke screen, will probably have a better chance of getting closer and surviving. And especially with her thirty-eight knot speed, she can run away. Oh, again. Ten percent chance to what the fuck? Ten percent chance to hit with the battle cruiser. I just don't want to get my battle cruiser right inside of secondary range. Because if I do that, then I'm going to face the wrath of the Rudolf in full. No, we're going to maintain course. And we're just going to continue to punch holes in it from afar. Uh, please engage this transport. Your firing range, 11-1. Smoky, smoky. We're getting some hits. They're fairly irregular at the moment. Continue to close. They're down to 82% strength, though. 
It's not that bad. But Palinuro continues to draw fire. Shoot! Koti, this is not your first time engaging a convoy. Why do I still have to educate you in how to engage a transport? That makes no sense. Oh boy! Uh oh. Koti, you're cutting it awfully close! There goes another transport. 21-6. Come on, Regina. Get some hits. These battleships are pretty heavily armored. But superstructure is fair game. And the longer we can keep this thing out of the fight, the more time we have to overhaul our battlecruisers. Okay, we can continue sailing directly for the enemy convoy. 21-2. Twenty-one, one Chance to hit, going up to almost 10%. Palinuro. Are you outside of range? No. Mission accomplished. Perfect. Once again, Koti pulls through. Uh, she's not been shot at at all. Yet, she's been able to eliminate the convoy right under the nose of the protector. Exactly as I like it. Chance to pen, 20%. It's not bad. That one shell is going to hit. No, it's not. Way over. Um, angle slightly. I don't want to race right at it. Own ship maneuver is going to throw my accuracy off a little. Ricochet. See, high explosive is just not going to cut it. It's not going to be good enough. Palinuro can run at 30 knots. You can maneuver at 24.5 tops. So probably, yeah, 22 knots. Parcel pen. Hold up there, Rudy. Watch. What are you doing? You're swinging the guns around. No, thank you. I have what I came for. I have the destruction of their transports. I don't need the destruction of my battle cruiser. Rudy is done chasing the battle or the heavy cruiser and has decided now to go right for the Regina. <clears throat> that looks decent. Parcel pens, some fire. Did we destroy one of your. Oh, well, we destroyed your secondary tower. As miniature as it is. It's probably not helping their accuracy. 20 kilometers out, that's fine. Um, at 20 clicks they should be able to shoot me, but they're not. Probably because their accuracy is so low. Let's slow down a bit. Still gonna take me a while. Koti, are you done murdering yet? No. We're firing SAP, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> semi or piercing. Still good enough against the transport. Another couple of light damaging shots against Rudolf. There goes the transport Sava. What? No! Shoot the Rudolf! I don't care about a transport. That's what the Koti is here for. Don't worry about the transport. Transport's fine. There. Rudolf is what we really want to shoot. 19.7, 19.6. Don't get too close. Missed. Come on. 10% chance to hit. Chance to pen? 17%. Give me HE, just to see what it does. Maybe we can knock out their superstructure. Get return shots coming in now. Personal pen. No thank you. Range? 19-1. <clears throat> okay. Speed up a little. Their chance to hit is now 11% from Regina. About half. Relative for the battleship, 6%. If they actually hit me, I get a pretty decent chance to pen me. That's not good. Partial pen. I think the fire damage is not quite going to cut it. How much crew do you got? Spacious. 
shit. That means they have more than enough crew to keep this fight on for a long time. A very long time. Koti, you've done the dirty. Yeah, okay. Retreat. Heavy cruiser, retreat. Look at this. Damage done, 44,000. Damage taken, 1,900. All the damage taken was on the heavy cruiser, which has been brought down to half strength, but survived. And their battleship, of course, hasn't exactly taken a ton of damage, but was completely, well, inept, I think is the best word, at defending the convoy. Yet it's probably not the last convoy that we'll see out there. How many shells do you have left? 225. Hmm. So, because you don't have enough shells left, you're going to be a bit more considerate about when you fire those. They're probably set to safe, these guns. Only fire when you have a good firing solution. And they don't have that. Missed. Do I push my advantage and just murder this thing, or no? Do I leave it alive? I'm not very inclined to leave it alive, actually. Because we have been struggling to kill these battleships. Torpedoes are not going to cut it because of that immense secondary firepower. Really, the only ships that currently can reach out and touch these guys safely are the battlecruisers. Ricochet. Destroyed casemate. How bad is the damage to the Rudolf? This casemate might be dead. This one's definitely dead. The rest of them seem fine. Although, the, actually, this one's looking a bit worse. Some fire damage, but really, <clears throat> I don't think they care much. We still have quite a few HE shells left to do some more fire damage. And after that, it's going to be AP. Chance to hit for them is 7.2%. That's a bit more than I would like. Parcel pen. Come on, hit their superstructure. Blow off that main tower. Once the main tower is gone, their accuracy drops. Ow. And on top of that, their ability to control their fires is reduced. Partial pen. Interesting that you set fire to the lowest levels of the ship with an HE shell like that that only gets a partial pen. I would expect the deck to be on fire much, much more. Like that. Just a full bow hit. Barely did anything. This is probably going to take me a little bit of time. A while later, the Rudolf has completely run out of ammunition for her 13-inch shells. Or for her 13-inch guns, rather. And that means that the Regina can now more or less safely maintain a range of 17 kilometers. And at 17 kilometers, her armor-piercing shells, or rather her semi-armor-piercing shells, start to get a bit more dangerous. So that the Rudolf is starting to take more and more and more damage. Accuracy is 12%, and the Rudolf, I think, is still trying to get within secondary range. Um, at maximum range, her secondaries deal 7.7 inches of armor pen, 2.7 inches of high explosive pen, and they carry a lot more HE than AP, as is normal for secondaries. That is, unless you adjust it, of course. Um... I think I might be able to close in a bit more. Because aside from superstructure, I can deal... Well, I, yeah, I can more or less deal with the amount of damage that they can put out. They should be opening up any moment now. Don't turn away. Hold on, you're turning. Aren't you? Yeah, you are turning. Okay. Regina, this is your opportunity. This guy is broadside. 
Get the shells to hit hard. Ideally, bow and stern. Floodings would be perfect. Parcel pen. Their accuracy is still pretty terrible, so they're not actually firing yet. Come on. It's been my objective for... Well, not specifically this episode, but uh, the rest of the campaign. There you go. To start, or maybe to finish, with the elimination of one of their battleships. And that's what I intend to do. Boom, boom, boom. Flooding. First pen, fire. Their main tower has been hit. Regina's taking some secondary fire. Nothing too bad. Why is Rudolf so much... So badly broadside? Oh, she's slowly turning away. That's the plan. Yeah, right. That ain't happening there. Rudy. I have 183 shells, though. I might not have enough ammo. Damage to the main tower. Again, good. Excellent. We're outside of their secondary range. That is not going to hit. I think they're going to retreat. And I think I'm going to have to let them, because I simply don't have the ammo. 174 shells at short range will do it. <clears throat> at longer range, they might not. Uh, what's your speed? 17 knots, yeah. So let's slow down to 18, at least eventually. Close the distance a bit. Go bow in to maximize our armor profile. Four belt is 6 inch. Main uh, belt is 14 inch. Uh, four deck is 4 inch. Just the superstructure, which is limiting. Yes, that's more like it. Good hit. Two engines have been eliminated. Or at least heavily damaged, but considering there's flooding there, I think they might not be able to fix that. They're starting to lose more and more crew, yet it is still not affecting the efficacy of the ship. But it looks like Regina might not just be eliminating the convoy today. At least, there you go, another flooding hit. At least not with the assistance from the Coty, of course. But might actually win the fight against the Rudolf. Which would be another massive slap in the face of the Austro-Hungarians. Yeah, destroyed secondary tower. Ship is starting to burn in more locations than they seem to be able to handle. Accuracy 22% and the battle, you're right. I don't think so, buddy. I will end the battle... Just not by clicking that button. 28. Structural. Accuracy 25. Rudolf's instability should be pretty bad. Oh, well, it's not that bad. It's 10%. And again, they're going for sheer volume of fire. The amount of damage that they can put out with these shells is very limited. It's just 4 damage per. But of course, they have a lot of it. Ricochet. Don't want to get that close. 17 clicks or so is fine. Oh, I got 111 shells. Please give me another couple of good structural integrity hits. That might cripple it enough. Range is still 59. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. Partial pens and fires. <clears throat> Structural integrity dropping to 25. I'm going to need a couple more like that. And my chance to pen is okay, but not stellar. Uh, I really would not want to cut this fight off. I want to eliminate that thing. Because that would show that... There you go. Um, even with a relatively small fleet, and the biggest ship that I have is a battle cruiser, I can still eliminate battleships like these. That's the main tower. More fires. Ah, now they're starting to get some results. They've lost 30% of their crew, and their control is going down. Their secondary guns are going down, so their reload on the secondaries is increasing. I got 63 shells. Oh, boy. Come on, destroy the main tower. 
just destroy it. Missed. I have about six more salvos, and then I'm out of shells. So I think that unless we cripple this thing, maybe with an ammo detonation or something, it will survive. Oh, there you go. That was a good hit. 20%. 45 shells remain. 20% chance to hit. Ricochet, no. This is another reason why I wanted the increased complement of shells on my battle cruisers, because I need more firepower. I need to be able to endure these fights for longer. Missed. Come on. 27 shells, that's three salvos. Come on. Flooding. Their structural integrity is down to 14%. Two salvos left. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Partial pens. Last salvo. Crap. Boom. And that's the Regina, out of ammunition. At least for her main armament. So, yes, now I will end the battle. Having done a fair amount of damage. I mean, the Rudolf is very badly damaged, and I was able to sink all their transports. Yet, I did not sink it. How long is it going to take them to fix that? With a damaged economy. 11 months. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> nice work. Uh, Regina, two months. That's more like it. Palinuro, three months. Hmm. Okay. Right, if they offer me a peace treaty now, I will take it. So the next episode, we're going to probably get peace, at least with these guys. But that doesn't mean the campaign's over. Because as you might know, it doesn't mean that we have peace with the Germans. And the Germans still have 41 ships. So join me next time as we're going to continue this campaign, deal damage, and hopefully win this fight. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. And that's when we're potentially going to uh, finish it. See you guys then.